Hello and welcome to this VConnect tutorial. In this tutorial we will show you how to use the new sampling order function. Let's get started. On the landing page you will find the new sampling order function. Click on it. This refers to the redrawing samples and it's independent of arrival samples. If you have already arranged arrival samples on your import order, this is subsequent reorder of samples. You can easily and conveniently have samples sent to you. Samples can be also sent to customer directly via this function. Under recipient you can enter your company name or the name of the company of your client. Type the first couple of letters of the desired recipient into the field and your store deliver addresses will appear in the drop-down. To select the recipient, click on the drop-down that appears and the address will automatically pre-filled in the gray field below. If the address does not exist yet, you can easily add the address via the new tab. Alternatively, you can also use the setting option. Under the settings icons, you can request new addresses. Go to delivery addresses. Then go to request a new address and enter the desired data. Confirm with submit for approval. We will enter the address for you. This way we prevent multiple entries and make your search easier. Let's get back to the new sampling order. You need to enter the field to the attention of whom this should be sent to. For example, the name of a person. If you want to send the sample to your customer and let them know when the sample has been sent, you can enter your customer's email address under recipient email addresses. If you decide, no, we will do the communication ourselves, then you don't need to enter a customer email address there. If you want the sample to be sent to you and you want to be informed about the delivery status, then you as the orderer do not have to enter your email address here. You as the orderer will be notified in any case. But you could also, for example, have your colleagues notified. You can add several email addresses, separated by a semicolon. The next step is to enter the invoice reference. Here you can specify what your invoice for the sampling orders refers to. Below you can also enter label remarks. The label remarks will be printed on your sample bags. Then you can select your sample from your stock. It shows your stock and you can filter by any criteria you are looking for. For example, let's take some samples of Brazilian coffee. Select your stock for sampling by simply clicking on the basket in the right. A nice feature here. You can order samples from different warehouses from Follows if you want. This leads to different shipments. Once you are finished, click on Next. Now you can set the order quantity and the weight. Under Label Preview you can see the label which will be printed and stuck onto the sample bag. When you are finished, click on Next and verify your order. Here you can find a summary of the order. When you are fine with everything, click on Submit Order. The first thing you will receive is a confirmation. When the sample has left the warehouse, you will be informed a second time. And that's it for the new sampling order function. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope that we were able to help you. If you have any further question, please take a look at our FAQ. If you don't find what you are looking for there, please feel free to contact us directly. Thank you very much.